Welcome to the Seesaw Skills mini training. This training is designed for premium teachers who have an account and class set up on Seesaw. Be sure to have another device or window ready to follow along with the steps. Research shows that when teachers align their instruction to standards, they are better able to track progress and support each student's unique needs. Seesaw Skills is a premium feature that helps teachers align instruction to learning standards. By the end of this video, you will be able to add skills, tag skills to posts and activities, give ratings, and track student progress in the skills view. First, adding skills. If you're a Seesaw for Schools teacher, your admin has likely done this for you. Woohoo! Add skills in class settings. That's the wrench icon. Under the skills section, click manage skills. Click new skill. Type the details of your learning standard here, as much information as you'd like. Only the name and quick code are required. Your skill is added. Continue adding standards by clicking new skill and repeating the steps. That's it. Now it's your turn to add your standards as Seesaw skills. Next, you'll need to tag skills to posts and activities. You can tag skills to student posts one by one by clicking on the skills icon on any post. The skills icon looks like this. You can find it here. Select one or more skills to tag and rate the student work. Tag skills show at the bottom of the post. Tagging skills to post one by one is time consuming. Save time by tagging skills to activities before you assign them. When assigning an activity, click Edit Students Folders Skills. In the Skills tab, select one or more skill to tag. Tag skills show at the bottom of the activity here. When students respond to the activity, all of their posts will be tagged to those skills. Pause now. Tag skills to posts or activities. Skills help you assess and track student progress. Here's how you give ratings. There are three ways. First, give a rating when you tag a skill to a post. Click the graduation cap icon. When you select skills, give your rating. You can also give ratings when approving posts. Click review. If skills are already tagged to the post, you'll see them here. Choose your rating. You can also tag skills at this step by clicking the graduation cap icon. When you tag the skill, you can rate it like we just showed you. You can also give ratings in the activity summary view. Click the gray bar on an activity. Click on a student post to review. If you've tagged skills to the activity before assigning it, you'll see them here. Give your rating. You can also tag skills at this step by clicking the graduation cap icon. When you tag the skill, you can rate it like we just showed you. It's your turn. Pause now and practice rating student posts. Once you start tagging and rating skills, you'll be able to use the skills view. To access skills view, click the skills tab. It looks like this. You can find it here. Note that students do not see this tab in their view. In skills view, you'll see all skills that have been tagged to student work. Here, only three skills have work tagged to them. As I tag more work to more skills, additional skills will show here. The number you see here refers to the number of posts by that student tagged to that skill. The color refers to the rating you assign them. You can always adjust your star scale and color scheme in class settings here. On the right side, you can filter by category, subject, student, or skill. You can also click on any square to see all posts by that student tagged to that skill. This helps you see growth over time. Pause now and explore the skills tab. Thanks for learning with us today. We'd love to teach you even more about Seesaw. Join us for more trainings at web.seesaw.me training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.